What's going on guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with the dopest solo money glitch ever. Okay? Like I got to tell you I'm so <laughs> I'm almost at a loss for words on how easy this money glitch is. Everybody has been asking me for solo glitches. Roll Easy, please upload a solo glitch. Uh, we need solo money. We don't have friends. Guys, this glitch is for you if you do not have friends you will be set with this okay but there are a few requirements it is mad easy you can literally get five hundred thousand dollars every two minutes no fucking joke okay i mean it when i say that no joke all right but you are going to need a few things to get started with this you guys need a facility all right make sure you buy a facility and you also need to buy the orbital cannon okay once you have those things, you also need $500,000 at least sitting in your bank, okay? You need at least that much money. After that, all you got to do to set up for the glitch is make sure you set your spawn location over to your facility and you're set. This glitch is for Xbox and PS4. I don't know if it works for PC. I'll update it in the pinned comment if uh, when I find out if it does work for PC, okay? So those are, the, those are the requirements. Now, as you can see, the setup right here, my spawn location is set to my facility. You can use any facility for this. And like I said, you can be on PS4 or, or Xbox. Does not matter, all right? Now, I'm going to go into the specifics on which, you know, which things you can buy to, for it to be the cheapest. But first, we're just going to get started with the glitch here. So I'm going to go over to my orbital cannon that's in my facility. All you gotta do is hit right D-pad and you'll be able to enter the orbital cannon, okay? So as you can see right there, I got the right D-pad option. I go ahead and I hit it and now you're gonna get on this screen right here, okay? So you're gonna have this screen. Oh yeah, and you can do this in an invite only session. You don't need to be in a public session. Throw yourself in an invite only. So hit on manual targeting. It's gonna say, are you sure? Press A or X again. Open up your dashboard. When you see it charging, it says active. Go ahead now and go to your settings. Hit network settings and hit go offline. Once you've hit go offline, spam B to come back to GTA. All right, so just spam B to come back to GTA. Now, once you've done that, accept this connection to Xbox Live has been lost error message. Just go ahead and accept that. Now it's gonna say quitting session and it's just gonna go ahead and boot you to story. Okay, now the timing on this to go back online is a bit different. Uh, I was kind of figuring it out on these first two attempts. I do it. I do three separate attempts on this to show you guys the perfect one. Okay, so on this one, I do it kind of like as I'm spawning back down. All right, so I'm spawning down as Michael and Story. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go back to my settings, go to network settings, and hit go online. Once I hit go online, I'm gonna wait roughly 15 to 20 seconds depending on your internet connection and how fast it takes to reconnect i know when my internet is reconnected again because the, you see how it's flickering right there the nat type when the nat type stops flickering that's how i know that i'm fully reconnected and ready to go to keep doing the glitch okay so now i can back out i'm fully connected to the internet again and i'm back in story just go ahead and hit pause and go back to gta online and hit invite only session now I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward a bit here while we're going into a new GTA Online session. And like I said, guys, invite only. You do not need to go into a public session for this. Nothing like that, all right? This is the easiest solo money glitch we have had in such a long time. It's stupid how easy this is. I didn't even think it was real when I first saw it, okay? I'm telling you, it's crazy. So once you've done that, you're going to spawn back into online. Look at the top right. You're going to see plus $500,000. There you go. Just like that. Plus 500 grand right when I spawn back in online. All right. And if you want to see how much money I got later, just go ahead and write that down. 260. Look at my bank, the bottom number, 264,974,000. Okay. But before you do the glitch again and rinse and repeat, go ahead and click on an outfit or change a mask or something. And you're going to see a save icon at the bottom right. See that orange save icon? Now you are free to go ahead and do the glitch again. So look at my money, 264,907 or 264 million 970 or 497,000. My apologies. Just write that number down if you don't believe me. You're going to see that there's 500,000 added. I should get 265 million when I come back. Okay? After doing this again. So, now as you can see right there, I'm going to hit right D-pad to enter the uh, you know, the orbital cannon again. I'm going to spend the money on the manual, you know, targeting, wait for that active red to come on the screen, go to my network settings and hit go offline. Once you do that, spam B to come back to GTA, you're gonna get this right here. You're gonna get this message, the connection to Xbox Live has been lost. Go ahead and press A or X on that, depending on what system you're on. And now this is a possibility of what can happen, okay? So at this point, I'm waiting just pretty much the same amount that I waited last time. I have a quicker way that I would, or you know, I'd say connect back online quicker because this is what can happen if you wait too long. So 
I'm waiting right here. I still haven't connected back online. I'm still technically offline. You know, my internet connection is cut from my Xbox. All right. So I'm waiting to load back, uh, you know, into story mode right here. And now I'm going to go ahead and go back to settings and I'm going to go to network settings and hit go online. Now, as you can see right there, I was waiting. It just wasn't connecting. I actually had to set up my wireless network again. I'm going to black this part out because what I'm doing right here, it's private information. I hope you guys can understand that. All it is, is I'm going back to my, you know, I'm picking my Wi-Fi connection and then I'm going ahead and typing in my password. And once I've typed in my password, it's going to say checking connection and it's going to say it's all good. Go ahead and continue. So as you can see right here, I check connection. Now I'm waiting for it to actually go online. My NAT type is open. It's going to flicker for a little bit. Like I said, wait 15 to 20 seconds. If not more, wait for your internet to fully reconnect. Now you can spam B and go back to GTA. You might get this black screen for a second. And now you see I'm back in story. Now I'm going to go ahead and press pause, hit online and go into an invite only session. All right. Just like that. Now. Uh, here's some here's some things to keep in mind okay guys so if you want to start this off and say you have no facility or anything like that it's gonna cost you probably for the cheapest stuff it's probably gonna cost you around two million one hundred and fifty thousand dollars all right to buy all that stuff and that's not to mention you still need the five hundred thousand dollars in the bank so if you buy the Polito Bay you know location that's 1.25 million then if you buy the Canon the Canon is 900 grand okay so it's gonna cost you a pretty penny now we're gonna spawn back online. Look at the number now, look at the top right. Plus 500 grand, I have 265 million now in the bank, 474,000, okay? I did indeed get another $500,000 back in two minutes. I told you I was not lying, guys, and you just keep doing this, rinsing and repeating. This is important though. Make sure you select your outfit again, click on it twice, uh, change a mask, change an earring, you know, glasses, whatever, an accessory. Wait for that little orange save icon at the bottom right to go around and you're good to go ahead and rinse and repeat. All right, so hit right D-pad to enter the orbital cannon once again. Once you've done that, you're gonna end up at this screen. You wanna pay for the manual targeting. It's gonna cost you 500 Gs. That's why you want that in the bank. Wait for that red active right there to be in the background, and then simply go and go offline in your network settings. Once it's offline, spam B to come back. You're gonna get this you know, alert screen right here connection's been lost now this is what i recommend this is the best way to do it it's going to say quitting session and the screen is frozen wait for the screen to unfreeze okay so you see quitting session it's still frozen it's going to unfreeze here in a little bit so here we go it's unfrozen now go ahead and go to your network settings and go back online now that's the best way to do it all right you don't want to wait too long or you got to redo your internet over again you don't want to keep doing that you want to make this as quick as possible so like i said right here 15 to 20 seconds depending on internet connection you want to wait for your nat type and everything to load up and your internet to be fully connected back online once you've done that you can spam b to go back to gta initializing you know session and it's going to kick you right into story all right just like that guys so once you're back into story, the second you can hit pause, you know, you want to do this as quick as possible. You go ahead and you hit pause and you want to go back into an invite only session. So right here, pause online, play GTA online, invite only session, just like that. Now, like I said, there's a few places you can buy. Polito Bay is the cheapest, 1.25 million. You got a few more that you can buy as well, guys. You got some all around the map. Uh, you know, it depends on which one you're really looking for. Now. Like I said, the cheapest is gonna be Polito Bay 1.25 million, the cannon's gonna be 900 grand, and then you need 500 grand in the bank. So that means if you have none of that stuff ready to go, just it's gonna cost you at least 2.65 million dollars to actually get this glitch started, all right? So $2,650,000 is what it's gonna cost you to be ready to do this glitch. I hope everybody has been following my channel and doing those dupe glitches and getting money. That's literally three retro dupes. That's all you gotta get to get this money. If you got three retros, go sell two right now in one hour, wait for that hour to go up, then sell another one, and boom, you got the money you need to go ahead and do this glitch, okay, if you don't have a facility yet. That is all you need. So as you can see right here, you guys remember the number when I uh, when I was over there, I think I had 265 million, 400 something thousand. Look at it now, 265 million, 974 thousand. Another 500 grand just added in literally two freaking minutes. I cannot believe how simple this glitch is. You guys need to get on this pronto, okay? But remember, this is the most important part. You need to save it, all right? So go ahead and click on your outfit or change an accessory and wait for the orange save icon at the bottom right to go around and around and there you go it is saved that is all you got to do guys 500 grand in two minutes i've heard also if you have an ethernet connection and you got a cable plugged in if you unplug the ethernet connection somehow it gives you like 750 grand so you can make even more with a wired connection that's all up to you not sure what your connections are but that is the glitch 
the easiest solo money glitch I have seen maybe in a very long time. Take advantage of it now. This one will not last. Rockstar will not like this one, okay? That's going to be it for me, guys. My name is Roll Easy. Hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel by pressing that big red button. Uh, you know, turn post notifications on. Drop a fat like on this video for the freshest and the most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody, and happy glitching.